and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for February the 8th through to the 14th. I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So let's see what they have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. All right, beautiful card for the beginning of the week. The World, Archangel Michael, a job well done, joy, contentment and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. So this is a beautiful, positive, uplifting card to start the week. Archangel Michael, as you know, is very present with us here on the earth, or perhaps you don't know, but he, actually I always say if you're going to call on one angel, or if you're going to remember one angel, remember him, because he loves to help us in our human experience here on the planet. And he is saying, yay, well done, we're doing great. So even if you feel like, you know, you haven't achieved everything that you want to right now, maybe you feel like you, you know, you're you're setting your standards really high and being hard on yourself, this is just a reminder that you're doing really great to keep going. And it says the path toward enlightenment to me, and it's really just, again, just what this card says, joy, peace, love, being true to yourself. That's what enlightenment is. It doesn't mean that we have to sit and meditate the whole time or never have our, our fears and all of that stuff. Enlightenment means being the highest, best version of ourselves that we can possibly be, and there are different layers of that. And so it's just congratulating our, on us, on our journeys so far, helping us to reflect on all the amazingness that we are, all of the things that we have done, and to remember that he's supporting us on what we want to do next also. It's kind of, to me, it always feels like they're saying, yes, we, we've done so well. But here we have the world at our feet, that we have this beautiful opportunity to say yes to even more good. So that's great for Monday and Tuesday. So... Oh, beautiful. Another major arcana card, the dreamer, which goes really hand in hand with what we were just saying. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So this card to me says that sometimes, or many times actually, in order for our dreams to come true, for us to really feel that joy and excitement, it, we have to take a leap of faith and sometimes that can be a little bit out of our comfort zone but it's all good because we are being supported we are being encouraged to go for it and sometimes we may not know what that looks like but the Archangel Metatron is saying that there are going to be unexpected opportunities that come to us this week that are going to mean that we feel even clearer about our path that we're going to be even more able to say yes so very, very exciting these next few days. All right, so here we go with the card for the weekend. You won't believe it. The Wheel, Archangel Michael, another Archangel Michael card and another major arcana card. So it's big, positive changes, lots of transformation. This is not a time to just be like, oh, I'm just going to rest everything. You know, I'm just in hibernation. Actually, we've been talking a lot about that, that actually... Uh, January was pretty quiet as far as us being reflective, us healing, us looking at ourselves. And whereas right now, although I have to say I felt like it was going to be more March, but this obviously is, a, a, is an exception, that this is a week to really take action, to make the most of this beautiful energy, to move forward with courage. If you're wanting courage, if you're wanting confidence, if you're wanting to feel supported. Michael, as he said, is a beautiful angel 
to do that. He, he loves to help us uh, feel that sense of purpose, to help us to really say, you know, here I am in the world. So it says a time of positive change, change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So honestly, I mean, this reading is probably the shortest and sweetest I've ever done in its context. Like it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you need to have a, a lot of, um, you know, explanation about all of this, but it's beautiful. It's exciting. It may require us to move forward into places where we're not quite sure how it's going to work out. But as the middle of the week suggests, it's that it's it's okay to take that leap. It may feel like a risk, but I always say that it's more of a risk to just kind of sit around and, and do nothing, right? Because we're not really being who we truly are. We're not making the most of this beautiful experience of life. So I also wanted to say that if you are somebody who has felt, you know, like, mm, I'm not really sure what that is. And, you know, it's all very well saying, you know, take action or take a leap or, you know, follow your dreams, but I don't even know what my dreams are. You can also call on Michael to help you, to help you feel that sense of of passion to help you feel that sense of even curiosity. There's a great um, uh, video that's going around at the moment by Elizabeth Gilbert and, and talks about, you know, some of us don't just have that one burning passion. Some of us, uh, you know, are, are kind of looking for it and then feeling like we're, you know, we're wrong if we don't have it and we're not ever going to find a purpose if we're not passionate about one thing. You know, it's not always about just, you know, being driven by one thing. It's actually just being curious. Like, what what does my heart call me towards right now? What am I feeling in my gut? What am I feeling in my intuition that feels right to me? And taking that one step. You don't have to know the whole plan. Just taking one step at a time. The wheels on a car or anything just go round very steadily you don't have to go quickly and sometimes quickly doesn't mean better sometimes steadily means very um that you're taking you're taking care of yourself you're paying attention paying attention listening to your guidance rather than kind of rush forward is so much more productive so follow the steps as you're guided which means you know, listening to that inspiration, following that, you know, repetitive thought that you're getting to do something or call someone and do that and then follow the next one and then follow the next one. And that is when the wheels really start to move forward. And before you know it, you're you're kind of in a di completely different place or you're in a completely different um feeling in your life or you're achieving a lot more because you're taking one step at a time rather than feeling overwhelmed but this card actually is is really saying it's happening right now it's already happening the wheels are already in motion that actually all the changes that you're asking for all of the ways that you're asking to move forward in your life are already happening so embrace it and if you need support definitely call on Michael there's also Metatron who was who showed up for us in the middle of the week. These are both very powerful warrior-like angels. So it's kind of, you know, get ready to, to really feel the energy of them. They are often very warm, very strong. Actually, I like to call them my bodyguard. So if you're feeling like you could do with, you know, feeling like you're invincible superwoman or superman, he's your guy. Also remembering, of course, that we are humans. It doesn't mean pushing yourself too hard. It just means remembering the inner power, the inner strength, the inner creativity that you have. And that when you really own those gifts, anything is possible. So I'm sending you all much, much love. It's a beautiful, powerful, exciting week to say yes and see where it takes you. Much love. Bye-bye. I'll speak to you again soon.